Hey gamers, it's Mortuari here and welcome back to another episode of Conan Exiles and today, well today I will be skipping uh, some building. I have done enough building in the previous episode. I've been collecting some materials and apparently Neb is here, one of our Patreons. Now if you're interested in becoming a Patreon, check out the Patreon page for which you will find a link in the description. But uh, I've talked to Neb and we will be heading into the Troll City which is up there. And we will try to find some uh, tier 3 trolls for us. We need uh, some more. I think we can always use uh, a blacksmith, a carpenters. But I would love to get myself, uh, get ourselves a taskmaster. A taskmaster or uh, a cook might be interesting. Some more smelters might be cool too. Okay, Nabe is waiting for us at the entrance of the gatehouse actually. So he should be somewhere up here. Let's go check where he is, close the door behind us, because otherwise nasty stuff might get into our base. Uh, here he, well, she is. So, uh, yeah, look, nice shield. I think we're gonna head into the Thrall City, so uh, we will be trying to find some, some uh, Thralls for us. We're looking for some level 3 ones. And, oh, hold on a sec, did I bring everything? Yes, I brought everything. Uh, I know if we had to the right, once we are up top, we can find uh, some level 3 uh, smelters and blacksmiths. That's where I get my nails all the time. So uh, maybe I can show you the spot, Nib. Uh, uh, it's, it's just up top. It's pretty easy to get to. Not all that much uh, stuff on the way. And that's the trip I have been making constantly. I went... Well, maybe you spotted it in the, in the, video, in the video as well. I went up there back in the end and there you can find some uh, some blacksmiths and other things once we have those we can uh, easily get oh, oh what what's this a tanner do we have a tanner already ah crap you killed it yeah taskmaster it doesn't really matter what level oh yeah at uh, this wheel probably it doesn't really matter what what level it is as long as we get one it's it's a good start Yeah, maybe at this wheel. There might be a, a taskmaster at some point. You might be right. What's this? Oh, cook. There is a cook up here. What's this? A lead? Oh, this is... Look, this is the named... The named uh, smelter. The one with the big hammer is the named smelter. Daya Lead Drinker. Yeah, we, we need to get her, but we need to kill the rest as well, I think. Um, I'm gonna try to hit her. No, it's impossible. They will hit me. I'm gonna try it. I should be able to reach her now. Yes, I got her. Uh, yes, I have uh, the, the named one. Nice. Now we need to get back to the base. You know the way to the base? The easy way to the base? Yeah. Oh crap, not here. Wasn't a good idea. I think with these two, both wheels will be full. Or, uh, well, maybe one uh, one Thrall's wheel will be broken already by now. I have no idea. Uh, I want to build myself one of those big uh, Wheel of Pains as well. But we need lots of... Uh, what's it? It's called the special stones and uh, the special... Uh, yeah, the special bricks we need. And we need the 200 steel reinforcements as well. So... We need a ton of materials for those, but once we have a big wheel of pain, I think we should be able to uh, tame, well, break the wheel of eight, six to eight trolls at the same time in one wheel of pain. So that might be uh, a good thing. We 
we just need to get plenty of resources for that and i won't be building the big wheel of pain uh, where we are building the well, well where we have built the other ones i will be putting it up right next to the uh well the the gatehouse we are building for uh for our stone well our stone not our stone the for the how's it called the keep the stronghold the the castle I'll be putting uh, the, the big wheel of pain up next to that, I think, because all this will disappear at some point. <sighs> Come on. Yes, I can make the third one. If I have the materials, I can make it. There, Daya, the lead drinker is in the wheel of pain. Nice. We have one more slot in that Wheel of Pain. I'm not quite sure. I think that one is full. Isn't it? Yeah, this one is full. You, you need to put it in the other one. Okay, and now this one is full as well. Yep, it will take a little while before uh, before something frees up. Hmm. I could build a really big one, but uh, oh, that requires a ton of materials. <laughs> really, a ton of materials. And I'm, I'm, let me check. It requires. Uh, I need two hundred shaped wood, which should be easy to get. 200 hardened, hardened brick, which is a little bit tougher to get because you need to have normal brick, mix it with ichor, I think, and then, uh, uh, or is it the ichor and the fiber together, which makes something to harden the bricks. And then you also need 200 steel and reinforcements and 200 twine. So uh, this will take a long time to make. But we can give it a shot. Let me check if I have... Well, if we have somewhere, we should have some steel, I think. I think I might try to walk back to my base and go grab the Iker I have up there. Because we need a lot of those as well. Meanwhile, maybe you can try to get uh, the, the twine done. I'm going to take a quick walk back to my old base and try to bring some stuff back. Okay, folks, I'm almost back at the base. And uh, yeah, I went to the old base. And grabbed some stuff like uh, all the ichor because we will need that to make a hardened stone and the hardened stone is used for baking making the well the the big wheel of pain so i needed the ichor i traveled back to my old uh, base and grabbed that i've also brought ourselves the uh, yoga high priest and the yoga arch priest because yeah we might be needing that later on and uh, I think the next step is to try and make the stuff for the hardened bricks. I'd need some, what was it? Well, I need to combine the ichor and the twine in the cauldron, which will make the thing I need in order to produce the hardened bricks. Uh, okay, let me put some stuff in. Ichor, 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 ichor. And now if I put in some twine, uh, take up some brimstone, put in some twine, turn it on. You see it, you see it should be making stone consolidants. And once we have that, we can use the stone consolidants to make uh, hardened bricks. Oh, it makes five stone consolidant at once. Oh, that's nice. So maybe we won't be needing as much ichor as I thought. Oh, maybe. Maybe. We will have a look. Yeah, uh, it's going to be a thing. So, yeah, we will be making some of that. And I will get back to you guys once I have something else to show you. Okay, it's update time. I've brought back some more metal. Well, some more iron and the metal is cooking. I've also made the, what's it called? The... Uh, thing here the stone consolidant in the uh, cauldron and now I'm producing hardened bricks I need 200 of those so I should have enough uh, stone consolidant to make 200 uh, hardened bricks next up I also need 200 twine 
200, what's it called? Uh, 200 of those steel reinforcements. I have 58 in here and I have 14 in here and I might probably have 20 in here. Yeah, 44. So I have 100 done. I need 100 more. What else do I need? Let me check really quick. I also need... Uh, those are making... Those are making... And 210 shaped wood I have. <coughs> Excuse me. But I also noticed that... Uh, well, meanwhile, some of the trolls have had their will broken. So we have two slots free here. Soon a third one. And very soon a fourth one. And I think in the other Wheel of Pain there is some room as well. Or uh, there will be some room pretty soon. Uh, yeah, I think I will be heading back into the uh, the Thrall City and try to find myself some more Thralls to tame. So yeah, Neb has locked, locked out by now and uh, I'm going to have to adventure in there on my own. But yeah. It will be worth it. Let me go have a look inside and see what I can find for you guys. Okay, I just got back. Look what I have here. A tier 3 carpenter. I'm going to be knocking that one down and bringing that one back to the base as well. So, let me do that really quick. 8. E. There we go. Running back to the base with a tier 3 carpenter. Which is always nice to have. At least he will be able to make uh, some uh, some stuff a lot faster. And the tier 3 and tier 4 ones also give you additional uh, recipes. Things you can make which normally you can't make. Except with the tier 3 guys. So that's going to be worth checking out as well. Okay folks, update time. No, look. I have 200 steel reinforcements. And which is... Well, almost enough. I think it's enough to, to make the big wheel of pain. Yeah, 200 is enough. 200 hard and big. 210 shaped wood. 210 shaped wood is something I have. So I need 200 twine and 200 stone. But I don't think I have all the stone right, ready yet. Uh, 200 twine should be in here. Yes, 200. And what else do I need? It's the 200 stone. Oh crap, I will have to wait a little bit longer until the hardened brick are ready. Mm. 156. Uh, mm. I'm gonna turn this off. Pick up this, pick up this. Head to this one. Since this is a level 3 one, it should be a lot faster. On. Actually, I could maybe do two at the same time. Might even be faster. There. Okay, we will have to wait a little bit longer until the hardened bricks are ready. But once they are we will be able to build the big wheel of pain. Meanwhile, I'm going to be trying to collect some more metal, I think. Well, time has come to build the big wheel of pain. I have everything I need. It took us a while, but I should have everything I need to build at least one. Let's go. Uh, where will I be putting it? Well, not up here, since this will all be destroyed at some point. But I will be putting it up next to our gatehouse. And uh, I'm not quite sure this side or the other side. I think maybe this side. Yeah. Since we will have room here anyway. Yeah, why not? Let's see how big it is. It's still okay-ish. It's overlapping with another object. That's strange. No contact with the ground. Okay, this works. This doesn't. Maybe I'm just a little bit too close, actually. Uh, I think that's the right spot, but... Uh, 
I don't want to interfere with this wall here. So I should be placing it from this side. Six. Yes. And now place it. There. Okay, this is great. This is great. So what we need close by is one of those uh, pits. Yeah, these things. I need 260 wood for that. Why do I want that close to the uh, Wheel of Pain? Well, it's easier to make the gruel in there. And uh, yeah, then I don't have to walk all that far to uh, get some gruel. I should have plenty of stuff in here. 250 wood is what I need. Should be no problem. There I have 300 wood, which is enough to make some gruel as well. So I'm going to be picking some herbs. There you go. More herbs. More herbs even. At least that should give me some uh, some uh, house seeds and fiber, which I can then use to uh, make the gruel as well. I'm going to be placing that down. And I think that will be actually the end of today's episode. Uh, we've been working on, on all this stuff for quite a while now. So yeah. It's about time to wrap up today's episode, but not. What's that? What was that yell? Okay, doesn't matter. We will be putting up this thing here. Put it up here. Number six. Place it close to the wall, maybe. Yeah, why not? There, the bonfire is ready. Now we can place this and this in there and this in there and this and this in there. Uh, I don't need that much, but anyway. Uh, yeah, turn it on and make some gruel for us. Once the gruel is ready, we should be able to put it in here. Greater Wheel of Pain. And yeah, have, I think, up to eight people. Yeah, from the looks of it. Up to eight thralls. Uh, going on this Wheel of Pain. Nice, nice. Some adv advancements have been made. We, uh, we went to get some more thralls. We have a little army going and we successfully created this greater Wheel of Pain, which is, well, nice. We, we will be able to get even more thralls from the Thrall City if you want to. So I'm going to be wrapping up today's episode. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, Feel free to hit the thumbs up button and if you have comments or suggestions, feel free to post those in the comment section below the video. While you are there, check out the description. That's where you'll find links to the social media pages, but also links to other crazy folks and creative misfits guys and a link to our Patreon page as well, where you can support us and maybe join us on our service too in the future. While you're on the YouTube page, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Not only do you help me reach my next subscriber goal, but you will also get notified when I post new content to the channel. That being said, I'm gonna be wrapping up today's episode. Until next time, have fun and stay safe. Bye. <laughs>